All right, so this was the page. I just copied it out of the book, and then I pasted it for you. All right? So it's kind of easy to do. Now, look what I did each time, though. I did one, two, and three with class. Notice my work. Nice, neat, organized. All right, I'm not saying you have to have the best handwriting in the world, and I know it's kind of annoying, but it's very difficult for me to blow up on question number one and try to write everything in there. I just can't do it that well. Now, I know there's a magnifying glass on here, and I, 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 I don't really like it that much, all right, because I think it gets in the way, all right? But, uh, again, some of my kids really like it. I just don't like it, all right? And if you're going to use the magnifying glass, then I still want your neat to be organized and neat. All right, is everybody with me on this? All right. I would prefer that you just don't use the magnifying glass and that you are just copying and pasting like I'm doing. All right. But I don't care as long as it's neat and organized. And look what I did down here, guys. One, two, three. And then I started doing the 5, 7, 9, 11, and then 13, 15, 17. See how I'm organized. All right, that's how I want you organized. What? Um, how do you get, like, the numbers down So look, which, which I learned not too long ago, which I think is really good. It's the square or the rectangle that you highlight. Now watch how cool that is. All right? So... For us, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rework with you guys, one, two, and three, so we can review. But look how nice it is. You just make the rectangle, and then you just copy it, and then you just go to the bottom of your page. All right, and now watch. You paste the image, and there you have it. It only copies, which is really super nice and really helpful. And it really doesn't take that long. All right, does that make sense now? All right, so now we're going to review questions one, two, and three. So here we go. I want to see. We're just going to kind of go around the room. Catherine, do you remember how to solve this? Um, what do I do? Shh, shh, shh. Let her give it a shot first. You're doing PEMDAS backwards. So you have to get rid of the addition and subtraction first. So how do I get rid of plus nine? Minus nine? Yes. So everybody puts a minus 9 down and a minus 9. So now I have 4p equals, what's 25 minus 9? 16. 16. And then we divide by 4. Now I'm trying to show you something here, guys. I'm going to put the divided by 4 and the divided by 4. But really and truly now, is it necessary to do divided by 4 and divided by 4? No, at the beginning of the year I said, yeah, you have to do that. Because I'm trying to train your brain to think backwards. Right now... I would prefer that you just say, look, if 4p equals 16, I know for sure p equals what? Four. P equals 4, and I'm moving on. Everybody with me on this? All right, William, number two, what do I have to do? Um, you have to do subtract 1. Oh, subtract 1. Yeah. Subtract one. Yeah. 4. Yeah. So now what? Oh, you. So, okay. Let me just let me just finish this, then I'll then we'll review that real quick. All right. So after I subtract one, what do I get? Just tell me what that answer is. So then your final answer is. How do you undo multiplication? Oh, yeah. Which is what? Yes, it would be negative three. Wait, I thought it was oh, because it's positive six. Right. right. Yes, we're working backwards. That's exactly what we're doing. We're working backwards. All right. So now I'm on question number three. So for question number three, Allison, what do I have to do? Come on, kiddo, give it a shot. Here's your equation. We're working backwards. 
How do I get rid of minus three? That's right. You with me? So you're going to put a plus three down. Put a plus three. Now remember, these cancel. So you're left with 5y equals. Now what's, what's negative 23 plus 3? Negative 20. Beautiful. And now what do I do to both sides? That's right. So y equals what? Exactly, girl. Good job. Negative 4. Is everybody happy with that? What? Yes! That's the whole point. Right? Eventually, though, listen, she's 100% correct. I, I want you to look at number three. Honestly, look at this, guys. Here's how you should be at this stage of the game. If you can do this, if you can just look at that and say, hey, I'm adding three, so that's negative 20. Negative 20 divided by five is negative four. That's where I want you to be at. You with me? But right now, we're still training to work backwards. Does everybody hear me? Eventually, I, that's the answer. I want you to just be able to do it all in your head. All right? But right now, no. All right? Now, from now on, we're going to do the evens. We're going to work on the evens. All right? So I'm going back now, and I'm going to pull down the next uh, set, but we're going to do the evens. So I want – now, for those of you guys who are having a little trouble, look what I did. I just copied it. Uh-oh. My thing is, is it makes it so big. Me too. Yeah, I see it. I oh, okay, it. okay, okay, okay. So listen, if that's your problem, all you have to do is make your screen small. I did. Okay, so now I'm going to show you. All right? That's exactly correct. Two of the corners are off the screen. I'm not. You guys are brilliant. All right, so I'm showing you now. Look what happens after you paste the image. Sometimes if you're off, listen to me now, you have to hit it back to the text key. And then when you hit the text, it highlights it again. And then there's a tab that comes up. All right? So you can move it around. Right? And then you have to grab the corner. Well, it's nice when it works. So if you're having trouble, I just may as well. No, no, but I know, I know, but I just want to show you just in case. You can go to the text and then edit and then shrink it down. Okay. So we're not looking at the Yeah. All right. So again, um, if you're having trouble, if it's too big, what you have to do is you have to just edit it, and then when you edit it, you shrink it down. All right, and then it'll let you grab the corners. All right. So again, and, and again, it, also, it might be a better idea in that case, just do them one at a time if you want to yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. All right. One at a time will work. All right. But again, I appreciate that. Now, the other thing is just briefly, real quick. Listen, guys, tomorrow in class, all right, you know, I don't care about you eating and drinking and getting up and going to the restroom, whatever you need to. But visitors are going to be here tomorrow. I want you on your best behavior. So that means I don't want you eating in class. Everybody with me on this? For the next two days. All right? I don't want you just getting up and walking out. If you have to use the restroom, that's fine, but you're trying to avoid that. All right? Does everybody hear me? I don't care. You're not going to interrupt me. You have to go. You have to go. Go. All right? But try to limit yourself. All right? So here we go. Let's take a look at number four now. All right? Here we go. Alex, what am I doing on number four?
1. You're looking at negative 4. How do I undo a minus 4? That's right. You add 4. All right. And what do I have now? Right, so you have 21 is equal to 7x. And now, what's the answer to that? Yes, x equals 3. Now, you don't have to write divided by 7, divided by 7. All right, that's just something you should know now. All right. So here we go on question number 6. You're up. Tell me what to do. Okay, so that would be... Negative 13. Yeah. Yes. Negative 13 equals 5, five minus 3z. Yep. So now what do I do? Um, so first, you turn that minus 13 into a plus 13. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Look right here. You're isolating the variable. Look right here. Because this uh, it's written backwards. So I'm trying to get rid of the 5. Now, think about what that's saying. That is a positive 5. So how do I undo a positive 5? That's exactly right. So underneath it, you're going to write a minus 5 and a minus 5. Make sure you're listening to me because this was the tricky one because it's out of order and it's subtraction. All right. So now the 5 and the negative 5 cancel out. So what's negative 13 and negative? No. Nope. Now, look what you did. Oh, oh, because it's okay. So that was just, okay. So that's negative 18. Yes. Okay, so negative 18 is equal to. Now the next mistake kids make is they forget to bring down the negative with the z. So this is negative 3z. Am I good with this? Okay. And now z is equal to. What's our answer? Uh, 6. Yes, thank you. Z is equal to 6. Z is equal to 6. Any questions or concerns? You should be catching on. All right, should be getting better at it. Those two negatives equal the positive. Exactly. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. I'm listening. Well, we'll just do what I'm asking you to do right now. Right now, we're doing the evens. So tonight, you're probably going to do the what? Odds. Do the odds. That's correct. Is it okay if I just do my work on you? Yeah. It's just a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, no, but it just has to be neat yeah, and organized. Really All right. So, number eight. Go. Okay, so um, first you would want, uh, so three minus one is two. Yeah, so you're going to say subtract one from both sides. And now you're correct. Uh huh. Now, tell me the rule for fractions. How do I undo a fraction? Multiply by the yes. Uh, multiply by the reciprocal. Oh, right. Remember that. Yeah, I remember. So what's the reciprocal of negative one sixth? Uh, six one. Yes. Don't forget it's negative. Yeah. Right. So multiply both sides by negative six. Now I'm just showing you that. All right. So in this case, t is equal to what? Um, no, you don't need a calculator for two times six now. Oh no killing me. That's what I'm saying. No calculators. No calculators. We're working with our mental math here. All right. If there's something you're not seeing, that's what I'm saying. We're getting better with our ERBs right now. Yes. You having trouble with two times six? The reciprocal of negative one sixth is negative six. Because what happens to these? They cross out now. You remember that now? All right. Again, we're getting back into the swing of things. Solving equations. All right. Solving equations. All right. So let me find 10 and 12. Everybody else, give your best shot on number 10 while I'm copying it. All right. We got some fractions here, so you got to be careful. I'm listening. Multiply by the reciprocal is the same as flipping. All right, it's the same as flipping. You just sound more intelligent when you say multiply by the reciprocal. You know, because it's, it's important to sound good, right? All right, so I'll let you help me with 10. Go ahead. Good, that's what I want to see first, minus 6. Exactly. 
exactly so. What's the reciprocal? Nope. What's the reciprocal of one half? You're okay. Two. So you're multiplying by two. You're multiplying by two. No, you're, you're multiplying. Yeah, the negative times the positive. Now look, guys. All I'm just saying is just a good review. All right, it is a good review. That's what we're doing. If you're not understanding what I'm doing, now's the time to ask. All right, Kate, you're up. Twelve. What do I do? Yes, ma'am. Good job. Minus four. Now what? Yes, that's true, but I would prefer you say multiply by the, and what is the reciprocal? Yes, good job, kiddo. So multiplying both sides by five, and that eliminates the one-fifth, you agree? So Q equals, tell me, so Q equals 25. Everybody happy with that explanation? All right, so let's check out 14 now. All right, here we go, 14. Hanson, what am I doing? On 14. Beautiful. So what is that? Beautiful. So C equals almost. There you go, bud. Just be careful with the positives and negatives. Just be careful with the positives and the negatives. All right? So here we go. 16 and 18 coming up. Yes. Here we go. Let's find you 16. All right, what am I going to do on 16, kiddo? Yeah, that's a good idea to help you. Now you get this is a good mistake most kids make here. I'll see if you're going to be good. Yay, very good. That's where the mistake most people make. You're subtracting 12 because we're trying to get rid of a what? A plus 12. Make sure you make a note of that if you made a mistake on that. Good. So I have... What? Or negative nine. Thank you. All right. Now remember, the negative just means to do change the signs. So the answer is yes. Yes. There you go. Exactly. That's how I want you to say it. Let me put my. All right. Everybody good? All right, Jack. You can do eighteen. Me? Yeah. Yes. So? Beautiful. That's exactly right. All right. Is that good? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's find 20 now. We have some decimals now. All right, let's make sure we do a good job with the decimal. Yeah, good 
All right. All right, so on number 20, who have I got? Thank you, Ben. What do I do? Good job. I'm listening. Good job. Negative 1.56. Then you divide it by what? 1. That's okay. We'll show you in a minute. We'll show you. Because you're lining up the decimals, correct? 0. 0.4 and 0. 0.1 is 0. 0.5. That's what I'm saying. It's a really good review, guys. Really, really good review of your fractions and your decimals. And if for some strange reason you're going, man, I forgot my decimal. Why is it that? Let me show you. Does anybody have any doubts with that? All right? And so now, don't be confused with the decimals, right? We just move the decimal over one, move the decimal over one, and so it's now like 15.6 divided by 13. So, Ben, what was that? No calculators. Mental math. How many times is 13 going to 15? One. How many left over? Two. So you put a 2 in the corner. Now you have 13 into 26 goes how many times? That is yes. Now, most people forget the what, though? The decimal. Am I good with this? Any questions? All right, let's find 22 and 24. Okay, these are the important ones now. Stay with me. All right, who hasn't gone yet? Any of the girls not gone? Nobody gone? All right, Caroline, you're up. 22. Okay. What do I have to do? So you do negative 4 and negative 4. Okay. I like that. And then you do 5n minus 7n equals 6. Over 6. And then what? And then you do, okay, you do negative 2n Good equals Good job. 6. Combined terms. And then n equals um, positive 3. What? After all this? Oh, negative 3. Wow, the whole thing writes at the very last minute. All right, Logan, you're up. 24, buddy. Yeah, oh, Hunter, I'm sorry. Go. Tell me what to do here, buddy. Yeah, subtract three. Good job. What's that going to be? Good job. 4.8. So now what? What's that? Good job. Now, is everybody, the best thing to do is just go ahead now and wipe out the decimals. Do you agree with that? Does everybody remember this? Yeah. You just move the decimal over one spot. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah. So it's the same as 48 over, or 48 is equal to 8n. Again, make sure you're reviewing with me. No, once. Once. Now what? N equals, tell me. N equals. Not you. N equals, which is, leave him alone. Brilliant. 48 divided by 8, 6. All right. Jack, you're up. 
I know you're up out of your seat, but you're up doing the next problem. Sorry. All right, we're on 26. So here we go. Let's take a look at 26, I think, is the word problem. All right. Right, right. So again, listen, guys. I, I, they shouldn't even. They should have just given you that equation. All right. It's kind of yeah, silly yes. because it's really there's nothing to it. All right. So copy that. All right. And then what I want you to do is we're gonna paste it real quick, and then you can kind of tell me. Uh, how to put it. All right, tell me what to do now, buddy. Um, what? Shh. Doesn't need your help. We're doing the numbers, um, not the variables. You see what I'm saying or not? It's the 16 that you're looking at. You're subtracting 16. Because the 8.25 is the variable. Do you agree with that? Yeah. All right. Oh. Right? So again, we're still working without a calculator. It's not just easy numbers. So mm -hmm. I now have 8.25p is equal to... Good job. Good job. 115.50... So now to me, it'd be easier just to move the decimal, right? So we could just write it as what? 825. You agree with that? So now, here is just a personal opinion. I'm dividing that by eight point, or 825. All right. Now I'm, I'm going to show you that. And I think this is important. It's worth listening to. All right, I'm not dividing that out. All right, I'm just not doing it. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think it's necessary. All right. Now, personally for me, I know that 25 goes into both of those. Does everybody agree with that? Right. So I, I, I like to reduce them down by 25 first. It's like I'm reducing a fraction. Right. So now I'm going to divide this by 25. Please watch now, because this is where I think makes a difference in your ERBs. I'm dividing by 25. I'm dividing by 25, right? So how many quarters are in a dollar fifteen? Four. Is everybody with me? See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Right? I'm thinking of quarters are easy to work with because they're money, right? So I'm dividing a dollar fifteen by 25. You should be able to look at that and say that's obviously four, right? And then there's going to be an extra what? 15 left over. So now how many quarters go into 150? Six. Six. Good. With an extra what? With an extra five. Six quarters is 150. 150 minus 155 is five. Now I put a five in the corner. Do you agree? And so now how many 25s in 50? Two. Come on, that's not bad. Now we're going to divide that by how many quarters are in $8? 32. Now how many quarters are in $8.25? How about that, guys? Isn't that nice? Does everybody see that? What? Sure. Now I'm going to finish dividing. Does 462 divide by 3 evenly? Yes. Right? Because I can add the digits up. So here we go. I divide by 3. 3 goes into 4 how many times? 3 goes into 4 how many times? 1 with 1 left over. 3 goes into 16 how many times? 5 times. Man, you guys are killing me. All right. How many left over? One. Three goes into 12. Four. Now, three goes into 33. How many times? 11. 
Now, how many times does 11 go into 15? One. With how many left over? One. How many times does 11 go into 44? Your answer? 14. 14. 14. I personally, yes. Guys, and, and all I'm saying is you, you just may not be able to use a calculator on that part of the ERBs. And besides the fact I'm a little irritated that I'm asking you what, you know, 4 divided by 3 is, and somebody say none, zero. I mean. Right? I mean, come on. How many times does 3 go into 18? Uh, what? What, what is that a result of, do you think? Not really a lot. No. We use the calculator for about three weeks. We've used the calculator. So now every time you ask a question, they just you just pull out the calculator. Right, Alex? Yeah, we don't need to do that. You need to be able to tell me that 11,550 divided by 825 is obviously 14. Uh, All right, here we go. So let's do now. Uh, where are we at? Thank you. Let's find 28 now. Sorry. Uh, 28. And someone who has not done a problem. Yes, sir. Good. Let's let you do 28. Hold on a second. All right, what do I do first? Uh, so now what? Yep, subtract 15 from both sides. Very good. So I end up with... Good. Good jobs. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. That was a that was right. really good question. Who else has not done a problem? Everybody done a problem? Why is that hard to do? Wait a minute. Wait. You didn't do a problem. Did you? I'm trying to sneak out of here, huh? All right. I'm going to give you a hard one now. Okay. Just for that, you get question number 30. Okay. Yeah, because that's a hard one. Super hard. All right, here we go. Cool. You're up. Yes, you do. Plus nine. Wow. Where's your calculator? Did you do a calculator on that? No. Wow. See, guys, that's the way it's done. 34 divided by 2 is 17, not uh, 12, uh, 6, zero. Uh, <laughs> 0. Uh, can't be done. Yeah. Wow. Thank you for that. Best for last. Has everybody done one? Yeah. All right. So, listen, now I'm, I'm really giving you kind of a break here. So, here is what I want for you guys. Um, 20. 8 through 50 evens. Okay. All right. That's good. 28 through 50. Now, listen, of course, I know some of you are going to find this hilarious, but those of you guys now listen to me. If you're not satisfied, instead of doing the evens, do 27 through 50. If you're trying to be smarter, you know you have a little bit of trouble, you have to do more work, not what? Less. And eventually, if you do more work, you won't have to in the long run. All right? But I'm telling you, just for today, 28 through 50, or tonight, 28 through 50 evens. Finish them up. Organize. Neat. All right? If it's sloppy tomorrow, you're redoing the whole thing on paper. All right? I mean it. I'm not kidding. This is a first big step for algebra. All right? Getting yourself organized. All right? Does anybody have any questions? And remember, tomorrow, guys, same as what today was. Perfect. No interruptions. People come in and out. It doesn't matter. They're going to have a chair in the back. They're going to sit back and watch the technology <laughs> and make sure it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me teaching what I told them I am teaching. All right? Perfect. Perfect. All right. No, you got to start all over.